Okay, it's like part six. And the dash man guy, he got somebody he knows from the payment center to send over $80 through PayPal to me. And then I started researching on Amazon a type of box moving device. And I picked one, but they trying to make me pay double the price of the item after I paid for it to get it shipped to me the same day or the next day. That's Amazon. And... Unless you're paying double the price, they're going to hold your stuff for like three or four days, maybe seven. So I just went to Home Depot. Then I went and got a hand truck. Fools are running around upstairs for some reason. Door. Camera. So here's the hand truck thing. Here's more boxes. It can go on four wheels if I wanted it to and the thingy comes out, it's got a pin on it. Anyways, I'm expecting like four or five more boxes today. But because of the tracking ID on it, I don't know when it's coming. And I also don't know if it's coming to this door. They might just bring it back to the leasing office once again. And I got like two options. Send these two boxes at once that are already ready with the packing slip. And then come back and check if more boxes are available because it's Monday now or I could wait for those boxes to be here take six photos of each of them upload each of the photos then download the packet slip and stack it on the hand truck and then walk them up the street I got straps too to hold it down cause there's a hill can't be going up a hill with who knows how many boxes and no strap and every one of them is open like they're supposed to be so I don't get no type of notice when boxes come to the leasing office. I just have to go down there and see. That's crazy though. Right now it's 12.27 a.m. on Monday, July 9th. And I guess we're just going to see what happens next. Oh, the um, the hand truck costed fifty dollars, and the straps costed nine. 
So the total was like $64 out of the 80. I'm doing that dash man stuff again because well it's a three month um three month contract so I'm thinking oh I'm gonna do this and get money right now well today here's how my day went today I had two job interviews one for a grocery store and one for a marketing place. Anyways, the marketing place posted a job on Craigslist. It said flyer distributor. In my mind, that meant I'll get like a box of flyers and I'll go to maybe houses, maybe a parking lot and just leave flyers if you leave a thousand and get a one percent conversion a hundred people see the flyers and they think about your company and ten of those hundred call you asking for your service we'll get into that company later they claim a commission and weekly pay but it's not flyer distributing it's door to door it's another one of those companies where they do construction on your house instead of Anderson windows and doors they do all of that now the other interview was a grocery store. I think it was easy. A easy interview. I just want to be indoors. That's it. Now, here's the, the, the thing with this dash man delivery stuff. I got five boxes today before I went to the first interview I got a call the guy said please upload item one two three four five six now my experience of hearing something like that is like what you talking about he said a number again so he's saying some numbers of a box that I'm supposed to know about a box I ain't seen I'm not at home He, he wants me to get the boxes and upload pictures pretty much what he was saying but I don't know what box he's talking about because he's saying numbers you can say any number to a person like me I don't know what you're talking about you could say BPI chocolate chip casein I know what you're talking about you could say LG stainless steel $300 refrigerator I know what you're talking about you could say Cheerios original you could say Rice Krispies or crispy rice there's a difference but when you say numbers what the fuck are you talking about? So, what I gather from that is I got boxes. Okay, thank you. Thanks for telling me I got boxes. But you see, I'm not at home. 
the way these boxes come to me is they get dropped off at the leasing office. We already dealt with the issue that they trying to put on me. Ain't nobody else living here. That's just me. So that issue is resolved because I went in there and talked to them. Tell them what's going on. So they can get off my ass about these boxes. Just because I talked to them. Now, the back office for the website, it's messed up right now. There are seven packages. Six of them are the same name. I got five boxes today. Three are the same name. Chelsea got three boxes. Why is Chelsea in the back office multiplied by six? I got another box. Let's call that Epsom. My first issue with that is it's one box. Okay? One Epsom box. That is a projector, by the way, if you care. Now, I open this box up because I can identify it in the back office with the physical box and the label and the tracker on it. I open it, and there's a box inside of a box. It's not like a product in a box. It's a box in a box. The second box inside has the product in it. If this bitch tell me take a picture of the box and then the product. In case you don't know, I have to take six pictures of each box. In the past, it's been Oculus Rift and the touch pads. That is a, a thingy where you're in virtual reality. So I take one picture of that below for the outside box dimensions, two, because there are two stickers, then three on the inside, the top, the front, and the back. No problem. Very simple. This, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Now, we got another box over here. Let's call that a drone. It's here. In the back office, it says it's in transit. What? Anyways, that's an Amazon box. If I'm not mistaken, but whatever. One of these boxes is light. Like there's air inside of it. Whatever the product is, we'll get to that when we do. But it's suspiciously light. So we got three Chelsea, one drone Amazon, lightweight for some reason, and one Epsom, box in a box. I can identify the Epsom. There's only three Chelsea. And one drone that's here. Plain and simple. End of story. Now we're going to look at the PC. Because I'm about to send a message. Very simple. I don't know if y'all can even read that. Let me deal with this damn light. Okay, I covered the light. Y'all can freeze it if you want. Do what you want to do. Okay. I ain't even done with this letter. <sighs> Let me just... 
um pause it here and make a second part okay this part two I'm over here uploading video no pictures of one box I take six pictures of another box the one that feel like there's air in it that's a sniper rifle scope anyways look at this the site got a 505 now I was trying to upload the images of the sniper rifle scope but in the dashboard it said error bad request 505 now you, you see the page the page is down I guess the guy I call he contacted somebody or he took the site kinda off but now I, I can't even do part one or part two I'm probably gonna have to upload the first packages images again they're gonna probably just wipe everything clear and redo it step by step he's calling now okay hey YouTube this is like part two of the part two back to the dash man junk anyways I, I just logged into the dashboard check my um, messages so I got three messages that are the person trying to call me because I got a box anyways the box that came over today Friday July 13th it was in my apartment doorstep just sitting there I didn't get no body knocking on the door nobody ringing the doorbell trying to get me to sign for it I just opened my door to do laundry and there's a box <sighs> anyways here's the messages for today in the back office so two of those are the do letting me know that I got called let me turn this or something. In case that's too blurry, I'll just read it. Shop loads, tracking number, blah, blah, blah. Name, not my name, is James Watts. Address, somewhere in Vienna, VA. Description, Dyson Cyclone cordless and some type of download thing now here is the Dyson a picture of it 700 to it's a five to seven hundred dollar item I gotta go to Vienna Lowe's to pick up which I think is going to be a rectangular semi-large box okay hold on six pound let's assume they're all six pound no matter what okay also, the weather for today. Hello. The 
weather in my area is 87 degrees today. So that is, that's hot in case y'all living on Celsius. It's hot outside. Once it gets around 85 and up. Hold on. So I got four packages. One is someone else's in transit. One of the entries is apparently mine in transit. The Joyce box is received. Ron Ross is still there for some reason. I shipped that out like three or four days ago. And the entry with my name on it is apparently a iPhone 864 GB Silver. I'm going to copy and paste that and see what the hell shows up. Because... I don't mess with iPhones. Let's see what that is. Probably a gift or something. But you see, I need cash money. Okay. This is blurry for some reason on my side. Anyways, that is a five to six hundred dollar phone. Eight, seven, monthly, nobody paying for that. Five, twenty, seven, monthly, seven fifty. 575 anyways let's just assume that the company decided to send me a phone right now the phone I'm using is a what is this a ZTE Max for $70 from Best Buy because Metro PCS didn't want to just sell a device even though I got money at the time. And basically, to go to, hold on, Vienna, I live near Roslyn, okay? In case you're familiar with the area, or what, regardless, whatever. Me living near Roslyn to go to this location. That's far. That requires a train ride. Now, if I'm going to Lowe's, I'm pretty sure that's not a 24 hour type of store. After being there during regular hours. And, you know, the, the train got regular hours, too. Could be a triangular, tri no, rectangular box. Six pounds each. I'm going to bring my hand truck just in case and my straps. It, it might be a six pound box, but it might be big. You see, when when they send me a pickup request, that requires that I go somewhere and pick something up. 
this dash man stuff usually they require that i no they don't require but you know they expect me to pop up and do some stuff during the day that a box gets registered as received or they get a a thingy in for a pickup they think that when they get something the same day I'm going to spring into action and just do stuff. So, I could be at work in a regular job. The dude would call me nonstop. And then I, I get off work. I could come home. I could see nine boxes sitting near my door or could be locked away in a leasing office and I might have to come back to work the next day because you know they put you on schedule and stuff you you gotta go in y'all know the deal but I've been moving boxes the last five boxes at nighttime because the sun is not out burning my skin with 80 degree direct sunlight and up. It's easier at night. Y'all just going to be on this journey with me. Okay, we're back after getting off the phone with the person. He wants me to go and pick up the phone. It's in DC. This is the place. And yeah, it closes at nine. The time is 4.30. I'm washing clothes right now. And I don't personally like to go to D.C. because there's a lot of homeless people over there. That's why I just choose to stay away from that area. So I have to wait till my clothing gets done drying 45 minutes then come back and what's it the Joyce Moore box which is another virtual reality thing that's going to FedEx probably around 9 p.m. because it's a 24-hour one near me so that can totally wait when I get that phone, I'm supposed to call the guy or message him to let him know and see what happens from there. Uh, so the messaging for the vacuum cleaner, I would assume he was trying to send that to somebody else. Because basically that's a different direction. Yeah, it's a different direction. Ain't no way I'm supposed to go get that and go northeast at the same time. Both of them supposedly close at 9. And travel takes money as well as time. So now I'm just gonna line up these photos into the video editor so I don't lose track of what's supposed to be where. Hey, it's probably part six or something. I just got back from the Apple store in DC. 
So since I live near Roslyn, I had to take the metro to the east. Because I'm going near DC. I don't know where the hell I was going. I was going like six stops and rechecking the metro map before I go back the way I came and check the Google map, walking around in the station, trying to get reception for my data so that I can see, am I getting closer or what? And when I come back, I realize I was one stop away. Yeah. There's Roslyn and then there's Foggy Bottom. So I had to get off at Foggy Bottom and walk like probably three or four blocks. And since I don't know where I was going, I was looking at the metro map as I go and walking in circles. Once I got to the general area of the Apple store, somebody had to tell me where I was going. Because apparently I walked past it like three times. It was on the right and I was walking on the left. There were so many cars, I couldn't even see the store. Plus, I guess if you go around D.C. and a Friday, that's a mistake. First of all, it was like around 5 p.m. EST. And a bunch of cars and people walking around on a Friday. Apparently, everybody's eating something or trying to buy something. For all I know, today could be payday for regular people. And they just decide they're all going to go have fun, spending some money. Now, I'm walking past homeless people, restaurants, stores, people, cars, constant street lights. I did see that DC got more beautiful women than Arlington does. They could even be out of shape, but they still look better. I don't care. I'll still say that. So the dude keep calling me. Well, he wasn't calling me because I was underground most of the time. He claimed he was calling me. But uh, I don't have no call registers on my phone at all. He was sending messages through the website. Talking about the customer was constantly calling him about the product or the delivery and bugging him. I really don't give a damn because as far as I know, he's sitting at home on the PC typing and calling me. So why didn't you just mail it to the person's house who paid for it? It don't make sense to me. Now you're going to bug me about the speed at which I do go through the steps to actually pick it up. It's just stupid. So I go in there, tell them my name. They go get the phone. And I sign for it. The lady in there say, is this your email to send a pickup confirmation? I look at it. It says some DD stuff like that. 
It's an email that's not mine. I say, yeah. Because in my head, that could be the actual owner of the phone. The email for that person. So that they know the item got picked up finally. So, as far as I know, a person paid for an iPhone 6, Dash Man gets to me, I go to the actual store, pick it up, now I'm back at home. Why didn't the Apple store just mail it to the person who paid for it? Why didn't the person who paid for it just go online to the Apple store and select to get it shipped? Why am I the middleman? Why didn't the person just go to Amazon or eBay? I don't get it. So now I got two boxes in my apartment and today apparently something about these two boxes was more important than the times when I got nine boxes at once that don't make sense maybe the part where the payer gets a email confirmation that yes, your stuff got picked up or is on delivery, quote. But you see, the Apple store is emailing that person. When you buy something from the Apple store and you expect it to get delivered to you, how do you think it's coming to you? That's what I want to know. Because if it's coming through the mail, you should have already had a receipt. If it came from the store in the back, they put it in a box and you you should already get a receipt once the payment is confirmed and as the days go on maybe there's tracking on it maybe there's not let's assume that the people who use this service don't want their shit picked up in front of the door of their house in the neighborhood that they live I don't know maybe that's what the mailing people are doing and they don't want it going from Maine to California. Probably taking seven days. And when it get dropped off, they come home one day, it's not there. And the seller is like, oh, well, we shipped it. What can we do? Maybe that's what Dash Man is for. To block that. But I don't know. You can do the research if you want. Now. It was like 85 degrees out. I'm just resting. I'm going to go clean myself. Because I don't feel clean right now. And I'll bring those. Two. Uno dos boxes. Up to the FedEx that's 24 hours. Now, the phone is only packaged in the phone package. If I'm supposed to take six pictures of it, I'm thinking I'm going to rotate it six ways, three-dimensionally, and take a picture and not open the phone. You pay five to seven hundred dollars on a phone first of all why the hell you do that second 
I don't want nothing coming to my house that I paid for that's been opened. Especially that I paid that much for. This phone I'm using here, it's got a 16 megapixel camera on it. I don't know if that's good quality, but it's better than that other thing I got. It's got a big screen. It's a ZTE Max type of phone. $70. Why are the people spending 500 to 700 on a phone? What does the iPhone have that this phone right here don't have? If you say, oh, memory for the, all the apps. I can crack the back of this phone open and put a SIM card in. Think before you spend massive amounts of money.